Hey guys, it's Jerry, and uh, welcome to another Zomo Nomo video. Uh, this time around, uh, we're going to do the fourth installment of Malware Matchup, and the contender this time around is uh, ESET's Online Scanner. Um, so, from the browser here, the ESET Online Scanner is a user-friendly, free, and powerful tool which you can use to remove malware from any PC utilizing only your web browser without having to install antivirus software. ESET Online Scanner uses the same threat sense technology and signatures as ESET Smart Security, ESET NA32 antivirus, and is always up to date. So, uh, given the fact that ESET um, has won awards and uh, and has a really good signature database uh, and their threat sense should do pretty good. So um, when you click on ESET's online scanner, you get this, uh, again, web-based um, window. And uh, what you do is you accept the terms of use. And uh, assuming when you hit start, it uh, starts the scanner, so we'll see what happens. All right, I'm going to pause the video. Um, and wait to put us to do what it needs to do, and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back. Um, I went ahead and waited for the scanner to uh, load up. It's basically an add-on. What you have to do is you have to install the add-on so they can uh, scan your system. But uh, you can check to remove found threats and uh, scan archives. Uh, it's not really necessary to scan archives, so I'll start the scanner um, to remove found threats, and we'll see what happens. So I'll let this do what it needs to do, and I'll be back when it's when it's completed. Okay, guys, I'm back. Um, as you can see, the ESET online scanner finished its scan and found 19 items, and it cleaned all of them. So if I click on list uh, of found threats, it uh, basically gives you what it found, the path, and what action it took, whether it quarantined it, deleted it. Um, Yeah, so I found uh, found a few things, and let's see. Then after your your um, scan, you can uninstall it, or you can delete quarantine files. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so um, looks like all the icons are still here. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to restart into the regular desktop and uh, see what we find. So I'll do that and I'll be right back. Hey guys, I'm back. I uh, just restarted into the regular desktop and uh, as you can see the icons are all still here. Um, let me check to see if no nope, task manager is not back yet. Um, so, you know, as far as the online scanner for ESET, uh, didn't really do uh, a very good job of getting rid of all the malware and, and stuff that's on the computer. And again, as you can see, the task ma manager is not back yet. I'm letting Hitman Pro do its uh, automatic scan. And we'll see what it finds. Yeah. 
So we found uh, that the task manager wasn't working. Um, found the proxy server thing again. And yeah, so Hitman Pro did fix the task manager. As far as the traces is concerned, it looks like it removed uh, a lot of the malware that was on here, but for some reason it didn't get rid of the icons. So I'm not sure if the icons are still here, but they're they're dead links. Um, I don't know. Let's see. If anything happens when I click on it. Yeah, I mean, uh, well, let's see. Let's open up the internet here and see if that works. Okay, internet works. Let's uh, do our usual search. I gotta tell you though, computer works, it's pretty quick. So, you know, working normal. Okay, Morton site comes up. AVG comes up. Vast comes up no problem. Semantic comes up. Um, Kaspersky. Yeah, no, no redirections. I didn't think there would be any. Uh, but again, uh, it should um, get rid of the icons that it, uh, you know, if it finds the Trojans and if it finds the malware, it should get rid of the associated icons as well. But uh, yeah, as you can see, there's no more pop ups. Um, you know, everything seems to be working fine. Um, let me try to do a Quick scan. I got a, a few minutes. I'm gonna try to do a quick scan with malware bytes. As you remember, when the PC was infected, it would uh, it wouldn't open anything. Every, anything that I tried to open would say that it was uh, infected and that it couldn't open. So uh, you see, if I'm able to run programs, looks like I am. Uh, we'll do it. We'll do a quick scan. Let's update. The update goes through, no problem. All right, let's just do a quick scan and see what happens. Uh, once that's done, I'll come back and I'll show you what the results are. So I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back. And uh, Malwarebytes finished its scan. And as you can see, it found 15 more items. And so it found the Trojans. Uh, Found traces, found rogue, um, found some leftover registry keys, it looks like, for a Trojan downloader, rootkit. So there is still some stuff on here that, um, 
the ESET's online scanner left behind. So, I mean, all in all, it, it, uh, it did, I guess, what it's uh, intended to do, and, and that's to get rid of malware that, um, uh, that uh, causes the computer to, to not operate correctly or, or even not operate at all. So if you use an online scanner, at least it's able to get your computer back to a working state and uh, and that's it, you know. Uh, with any online scanner, you know, or any uh, antivirus program, anti-malware program, you're you're always gonna, you know, scan with the initial program and then come back in with maybe your malware bytes or your super any spyware and. Uh, and clean up, so to speak. So, uh, as you can see, after malware bytes ran, it got rid of all the leftover icons. So, you know, pretty much the the PC is back to normal. So, uh, all in all, it did a, a good job. It's uh, restarting now, but uh, it, did, it did a good job with cleaning the computer, doing what it was supposed to do, and then just had to clean up after it with malware bytes. So I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, talk to you soon. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.